Hi, I'm Alan Hull. This is a short video presentation on breakout trading. Breakout trading is one of the most popular forms of short-term trading in use today. And that's because breakouts occur in both rising and falling markets. My breakout trading newsletter is a convenient service for identifying and managing breakout trades. It provides an update of all breakouts that occur on the Australian market according to the rules of my breakout trading system. So please keep on listening and you will learn the basics of this strategy. Now I'll hand over to Janice who will take you on a tour of the breakout trading newsletter. Breakout trading is a short-term momentum-based trading system. And as with all of Allen's systems, this one operates on a weekly basis. Before I get into how it works, I want to tell you what makes this system particularly flexible. You see, breakouts can occur in rising, falling and even in sideways market conditions. Many trading systems, such as trend trading systems, often rely on specific market conditions. Trend trading is a very powerful way to trade, except sometimes there may be few trend trading opportunities about. Breakout trading is different. As you will see, the setup conditions for breakout trading are largely independent of market direction. And the short term nature of the strategy means select sections of price activity can be captured in a nimble manner. This means the strategy can be applied in many different market conditions. So let's get into the specifics. Breakout trading is where we identify a breakout from a period of consolidation and trade the rally that follows. The chart here shows a breakout pattern and the beginning of a price rally. It is this sort of price rally that we want to capture. But to do so, we first need to identify the breakout. There are two parts to a breakout pattern. Firstly, there is a period of consolidation, which is the precursor to the trade. And then there is the breakout candle, which is the actual entry trigger into the trade. Here is another breakout pattern followed by a rally. See how the price narrows in towards a point and forms a triangle. This is what Alan calls approaching a point of agreement. It is a bit like a spring coiling up, because when a breakout finally occurs, what follows can often be quite dramatic. There are various features that a breakout pattern can have. Apart from the triangular shape of the price, the volatility should be reducing where the candles become smaller in size. Sometimes, the volatility can reduce so much that a doji candle forms near the apex of the triangle. A doji candle is like this one, where the open and close of the candle are very similar. Often, the volume reduces during a triangle as well. The second part of the pattern, the breakout candle, is the opposite of this behaviour. Here we want to see the volatility increase with a strong looking candle. It is nice to see an increase in volume as well. And of course, the breakout candle must close outside the boundaries of the triangle to signal a breakout and an entry into the rally that follows. Now whether the price rallies a small distance or a long way, the best way to manage the trade is with momentum. To track momentum, Allen uses the MACD indicator. As the price rallies, the MACD line rises. When the rally is slowing down, the MACD line begins to fall and this is our exit signal. This type of exit is very reactive to price movement and thus we have a flexible trading strategy, which can be essential in difficult market conditions. So there are the basics of the strategy, the entry and the exit. Note how neither the entry nor the exit are based on trending attributes. Rather, the entry is based on a price pattern and the exit is based on momentum. This is why the strategy can operate in non-trending market conditions. Having said that, this system does also pick up trades during trends as well. After all, the price can consolidate and rally within a trend. Here is a chart showing two breakout rallies within a trend. Whilst it would generally be better to trend trade during a trend, breakouts can also occur in these conditions. This makes breakout trading quite versatile, which is particularly useful if there is any uncertainty about the direction of the market. Breakouts can also happen to the downside. For this reason, it is best not to anticipate a breakout, but wait until it actually does happen. If you do find a downward breakout, it can be possible to short sell the instrument using the same breakout strategy I've talked about in reverse. However, breakouts to the downside only occur about 20% of the time, so they are not essential to an overall trading strategy. 
So now let's take a look at a newsletter and see the system at work. As usual, Alan has organised the details of the newsletter in a logical, streamlined manner. Any new trades for the week will appear in the first section of the newsletter titled New Trades This Week. Here is one with the period of consolidation highlighted by trend lines and the breakout candle has quite clearly closed outside the triangle. The magenta line is the entry limit. It is recommended that you enter below this line or risk chasing the rally too far. Remember, this is not trend trading but breakout trading. We want to buy in early, close to the initial breakout. The red dot on the chart is the stop loss level. Now this will turn into a trail of dots as the trade progresses. The stop loss is initially there for position sizing, but it is also there as an exit level. Remember the main exit criteria for the trade is the momentum indicator, but a close below the red dots will also trigger an exit. Under the MACD indicator is a colour coded MACD bar. This simply shows which direction the MACD indicator is moving, for easy reading. When the red line is travelling up and is above the black reference line, the MACD bar is light blue. When the red line is travelling down and is below the black reference line, it is red. At any other time, it is grey. Therefore, for a breakout to the upside, we want the MACD bar to be light blue. But as soon as it turns grey, we want to exit. Finally, there is volume at the bottom of each chart. It does provide useful information. It is good to see the volume drop during the point of agreement and then rise strongly at the breakout. Whilst volume behaviour is not critical to the strategy, it can be helpful. For example, if there were lots of new trades to choose between, you could then use volume to help you decide. The middle sections of the newsletter contain trades in progress, for both long and short trades. Here is a long trade in progress, and here are the stop loss dots trailing up below the price. This trade is progressing nicely. The MACD is still up so we can continue to hold this share. These charts give a good visual of what is happening. The final section in the newsletter is the data tables. Here is all the information needed to actually buy and sell. Here is the new trade that we were looking at before. The tables give the closing price for the week plus the figure for the entry limit and the stop loss and the direction of the MACD line. Then there is the portfolio percentage figure. This tells you what position size you can purchase for this share and this has been calculated for you using the 2% risk rule and the position of the stop loss. All the hard work has been done for you. And best of all, the last column in the data tables gives you precise instructions for trading. If the action says check entry, then you may be able to buy depending on if you can get a price between the entry limit and the stop loss. If the action says hold, it means a stop loss is past the entry limit and an entry is no longer possible. However, if you are already in this share, then continue to hold it. If the action says exit, then exit you must. Something has triggered an exit, either the momentum or the stop loss. These data tables are very convenient and the charts give an excellent visual of each particular trade. But more importantly, the newsletter as a whole provides everything you need to trade breakouts and in a format that makes it easy to be confident and disciplined. And these are two extremely valuable attributes of a successful trader. This has been an overview of the Breakout Trading Newsletter. More information on this trading strategy is available on Alan's website, alanhull.com. You can download recent backtesting results, a full set of explanatory notes, and a sample copy of the newsletter. There is also a free online trading course providing further details about the breakout trading strategy and newsletter. This course is delivered over four weeks and includes a series of sample newsletters for you to see how the strategy progresses through time. At the end of the course you will also receive one current edition of the newsletter for you to see the latest breakout trading opportunities identified by this strategy. Please visit www.allenhull.com to sign up. Until next time, thank you for listening.